What's happening, fam? L.A. Y'all Movement Still Moving. Her book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also to ask me to put it up, so I put it up. Thanks, everybody, for supporting. Video is entitled Are Black Men Better at Relationships? So, having a conversation with a, with a woman today about the man in her life Real good dude, um, educated military guy, who, tra- who, not, I'm not, I can't even say lost his job, but decided to go in a different direction. And one of the first things she said was, "He ain't got time to be sitting, you know, worried about if the white man this and that. He needs to just, just hurry up and get back to work." Now, today's Monday. Uh, I'm guessing his last day was Friday. And I told her, I said, listen, um, you might want to chill that out because if the shoe was on the other foot, you wouldn't want him talking to you like that. Just like, you know, that 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 wouldn't even make sense. And with his track record, why would you even go there? Like, why? The man's, you know, he's got his doctorate. You know, he's a vet. Like... And uh, you, you need to, uh, uh, I'm like, no. And I started thinking about this, like, I was watching some videos earlier uh, about the male-female interaction. And I was thinking, like, you know what? You know, for somebody to say, you know, black men don't cheat. No, black men cheat. But, you know, but the the irony of this is, Black men sacrifice in relationships more than our women. And the reason I say it's a question, are black men better at relationships? Because the vast majority of our community, the, the our community is matriarchal. So, of course, they're going to teach the, the boys to do for the women. And, the, and they wind up being men who do for women. But in the reverse, they don't teach those women to do anything for men. And thus, you see that when these women wind up having sons, they don't do anything for their sons. So what winds up happening is guys have been talking about this for so long that when you ask, when you ask women, you know, why they're hurt or whatever, they'll say something like, I loved him, you know, I... You know, what do you do for him? I speak life into him. I, 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 I have a feeling about him. I gave him twenty dollars one day. You know, but when you ask these men, what do they, what have they done for women? They can really run down a laundry list on toilet paper of the things that they've done. And. This is why I got to ask, are black men better at relationships? Because what you hear, you know, you hear these women talking about needing a provider and a protector, but the problem with that is, you know, how are you going to know if somebody's a provider or protector when you have a short memory? See, these guys have a very long memory about what they've done, and these women have a very short memory about what was done for them by men. So if that's the case, you don't appreciate the things that these guys do for you. And then you ask the guys, well, what have have these women done for you? And that's a very short list. You know, when we talk about it, we're happy that we got something. But truth be told, most of these guys aren't getting much. And, you know, the reason I talk about it in that sense, because you put your money where your mouth is. You know, um, heard a woman talking about, you know, you give women a multipliers and amplifiers. I like, I like that. Now that's, you know, cool. But if you ask these women what these men gave them and how did they multiply it? Most of them didn't. How did they amplify it? Most of them didn't. Now, some people, you know, will say, you know, brothers ain't got nothing to multiply or amplify. And 
here's a problem. These ladies know who they're picking when they're having sex with people. And these people know who they're picking when they're using somebody for free stuff. So the guys that they're using for free stuff, they just took that. They never multiplied it or amplified it. Um, thus, it puts these folks in a situation where, you know, because I was l l watching the um, Omarion's children's mother on Instagram, right? And when guys talk about the wall and, and whatnot. And how she was just glib about the fact that, you know, people want me. Now, the problem with that was, so people want you. And you, 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 you feeling yourself because people want you, but you even saying that they want you because of your sex. So what is it that you do besides sex? They want your sex. They don't really want you. You got to get those two things. They're, they're two different things. And the reason I say that is because. I was wondering, like, you know, when guys talk about what do people bring to the table, and then and guys get get talked about for you simping. Stop simping on these girls. And I was like, well, we you're normally talking about young adults to grown men who tell guys to stop simping because of the lessons that they learned as young adults and grown men. Dealing with women. But. The crazy part about it is. When I, when I talk to ladies. People are raised. They raise girls like that. Don't do nothing for these boys. Before they get to. Teenage years. You know. If, you, if you're not getting nothing from them. He ain't worth it. Don't do, you know, why would you do this or that for him? Because he's a boy, he's a man. So ultimately, these, these young ladies are being raised to think doing anything for a man is the equivalent to simping. It's not worth it. So when dealing in a sense of relationship, you got to ask, okay, who's, are the guys better at it? Because... The guy's complaints, there's no equivalent. And what I mean by there's no equivalent, a lot of these guys' complaints are in response to things that they've done that they didn't get and they got used. And this is all non-sexual stuff, right? The female complaints are sexual and attention-based. But not but have nothing to do with the, what they actually did for the person, and why I brought up the, the the cheating thing, is because I understand that people get cheated on, but I will say the vast majority of the people who are upset about getting cheated on aren't really worth being faithful to in the first place, because they're not doing anything but having sex with a person and using them. So to get mad that they find somebody else to have sex with when you're having sex with them and sex is a form of payment for using them, you know, is, a, is what you bartering. Because when you, when you ask people, what are you doing? And what I mean by what are you doing, ultimately what I'm saying is this. What did you do from the kindness of your heart? What did you, what, what was something that you saw in a person and you liked them and you wanted to do something for them. You wanted to do something nice for them. You know, if you, when, when you put, you ask men, has, has that happened? That's an anomaly. You ask women, stuff happened, but it's so many things that are marginalized and thrown away and they say don't count. That basically they got accustomed to people doing nice things for them to the point where um, I see it now where part of the wall is attention and resources you know you hit you hit the wall of 
getting um, little attention and little resources because people have multiple people have poured into you and you're just a bottomless bucket you're, you're, you're a bucket with a hole in it you know so when I think about it it's like okay these guys are probably better at relationships because they do actually more to facilitate them to maintain them and to try to grow them than the opposite sex so tell me what you think like share subscribe catch you on the next one peace